Mike's Daily Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Welcome. Mike's Daily Podcast. Here at Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley 10. It's episode 2460. Yeah, I'm telling you that number again because it's pretty remarkable i've been doing this podcast so long it's really something i'm going to find a car that's parkable mike's daily podcast because today there's no parking spaces everybody's back out you know after that covid thing ran it's mike's course oh wait it has not because i know more people now podcast. that have had covid in the past couple of weeks yeah. than i did during the pandemic which is probably a good thing because back then we didn't have a vaccine but i ain't gonna get vaccinated wait what was that somebody here at cafe anyway said something rather loud into this microphone of which i am speaking i am mike matthews F episode 2460 hey let me throw this at the front of the show instead of usually i throw this at the back let me know you're listening <clears throat> i don't know what just happened to my voice but hey i would sure love to hear from you 336 mm daily three plus three equals six mm is the mike matthews daily isn't what this podcast has been sort of okay we didn't do one yesterday i was going to and i got interrupted did you see the awesome podcast picture from the last podcast, episode 2459? It was entitled Seats. That was the name of the podcast, Seats, because we were discussing Alabama, the band, not the state, and the wonderful song, Cheap Seats. Even though I'm not a huge baseball fan, it's a lovely song about baseball. And one of our great sports that most of us Americans like, or some of us do, or most of us know of it anyway, Cafe Anyway. And the podcast picture was from this wonderful spot in Podcastro Valley, up in the hills. And here's today's podcast picture. And you can see the last podcast picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. We have this area in Podcastro Valley called Columbia. Yes, Though it doesn't look anything like Columbia, although I've never been to Columbia, I would imagine it looks a little different from it, but at any rate, it's this area at the top of the hills. And you can see it at mikesdailypodcast.com. Oh, the late great Basil the Boxer. I'm shedding a few tears for him today. Today was the day two years ago, the awful, horrible day that we lost him. In fact, the podcast picture has a picture of him from three years ago. He was still doing good in the year leading up to his passing. And this is a great little picture from a time. Three years ago, we were barbecuing. He loved it when I barbecued. And he was hanging out with us in the patio there. And the one thing that really gets the tears flowing Is when I realized that I would not have my lovely lady friend today We would not know each other We would not be in love with each other Had we not met because of Basil the Boxer We were walking, Basil and I And that's how I met her She was with her friend Daisy in Podcastro Valley They were sitting there at a bench Usually homeless people sat at that bench But not that day They were homed as far as I know They were not uh, Without home How do they say it? Sans home Home searching Home Not Unhoused That's right We throw an un in front of it But there they were And we talked to them Or I talked to them Because Basil was not talking Sometimes he talks as you just heard So we were talking and the phone number was exchanged and then the rest is history. And Lovely Lady Friend was actually on the last podcast, 2,459, called Seats. But this is 2,460, just remembering Basil and remembering that it was a lot of work the last year. Well, even in that podcast picture, he was, uh, his back legs were not holding him up anymore. And through the miracle of technology and finding stuff online, I was able to find a a harness that lifted him up comfortably. 
And maybe comfortably for him Uncomfortably for me Because he was 85 pounds And I would lift him up And he'd still want to walk So we'd walk around And after a while I gave myself Golfer's arm Because of the lifting up motion It involves a part of your arm That if you don't have it Well Conditioned for it It will hurt it It will damage it So I went to the doctor And she gave me a Special brace to put around my arm But that's because He wanted to walk And I wa- I enjoyed walking with him No matter what the circumstances We would walk And then Unfortunately the front legs went And then it wasn't too much longer after that And he was gone You know We have our dogs And our cats for such a short time We are also remembering today Rodler Who we lost in April uh, March March this year So just a few months back He We don't know what happened We never found him You know it'd be nice to think he found a new home Because he he was not We didn't keep him in the house He was a stray to begin with And so we never We tried a couple times to keep the door shut And he went nuts And I guess, you know, the better cat owners out there would try to thoroughly domesticate their cats and keep them inside. Because it is true, as soon as they're an outdoor cat, anything can happen. And you're into all kinds of trouble. And I unfortunately learned that the hard way this past March when he just vanished. And we don't know what became of him. But we were watching a lot of videos of Rodler from uh, Because we got him about a year ago He was given to us by someone who said Hey this was a stray that was caught And was fixed And the ear clipped And we're going to release him again But you know he's fixed So it's like a controlled release Next thing you know we had a cat Because he kept staying with us And was very affectionate So Basil never knew Rodler He probably knew Patches Which is the other stray cat That was coming around About over a year ago But we think we may have seen him Back in the days when Basil was still alive And Patches is still very much healthy Very much going for Life and the gusto But you know what He He's an outdoor cat So anything can happen I will tell you this If we ever tried we, we, We probably could never domesticate Patches He is just too Outdoor wild Barrel, it would be torture for him. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley, ten, the last place on earth. But he has been fixed, patches, and his ear was clipped to show that he is a stray, but that he has been chipped, and he's been taken care of. Cats, dogs, pets, with us such a short time. But now, uh, I am. Entering a part of my life A stage in my life Where I'm now starting to think Maybe I might get a dog again When when we lost Basil Since the last year was such hard work Between picking him up And taking care of him And taking care of all that in- Implies and infers It was a lot of work Being a service provider For an ailing Aging pet Is a lot of work I can imagine for a person it's even more 50,000 times more But with Basil When he passed it was like oh, we can't, I can't go through this again And in fact Some people Immediately right afterwards Were telling me hey I know someone Who needs a, an owner Has a dog that he's got to give up the dog And needs a new owner can you help out Can you take this dog I'm like no No Not after that I need some time But I think by the fall this year I might be open to getting a dog We'll see I still need There's a lot of travel I need to do I have been chained to my job For years now And not taken like a whole week off Actually I had to take a week off when my mom passed So I took a week off But not Under good circumstances at all 
But I need to I need to take some time I need to get out there Do some traveling With my lovely lady friend It's just been work 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 And you can't do that As we've discussed In past podcasts You need time The experts say You need time To take time for yourself So just remembering The late great Basil the Boxer See him There's a great picture of him At mikesdailypodcast.com And love your pets Walk your pets Care for your cat pets in the best way you can. Get as much knowledge about how to take care of pets. Ask questions. Go to your local food place. They know a lot. Of course, your vet knows a lot. Um, there's, but that's uh, talk to the professionals is what I'm saying. So here's something interesting. Now, when I was a kid. Elizabeth Taylor was still alive. Richard Burton was still alive. Those two were married, got divorced, got remarried. And they were very good looking people. Very good looking actors, adored by many. Now, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck have gotten married. They got married on Saturday. I am now trying to remember if they did get married before. The couple who dated and became became engaged in twenty in the early two thousands. Oh, they never got married. I see. They were engaged. They spent seventeen years apart. They rekindled their relationship last year. The couple received a marriage license in Nevada last week. Actually, yesterday, the license was issued to Benjamin Giza. Affleck G-E-Z-A And Jennifer Lopez Who is also identified as Jennifer Affleck This according to MSN.com And another piece of interesting news The Presidio Tunnel Is the newest SF Park Set to open Today I think Years in the making, a new park is set to open in San Francisco's Presidio. Presidio Tunnel Tops Park is 14 acres that sits on top of the tunnels on Highway 101 that carry traffic to and from the Golden Gate Bridge. The park features overlooks with views of the bay. Oh, they must be amazing. A children's play area along with a space for food trucks. A ribbon cutting ceremony took place yesterday. Today it is open to the public. Features more than a dozen food and drink vendors, live music, dance performances. Planning for the park began in 2014. Work began in 2019, which was delayed due to the pandemic. A price tag of the park was nearly $100 million, funded privately, privately by a capital campaign organized by the Golden Gate National. National Parks Conservancy So Wonderful Gotta check that out I need to go to San Francisco We have some friends visiting from Texas Coming soon So I would love to use that opportunity To get out there And do some Touristy stuff In San Francisco I have not been in the city Even though I live Maybe a 45 minute BART ride from it I used to go there all the time I should post a Picture from those days soon But with all going on In my life with work Just the the Thought of well and then I had some really Bad experiences riding BART Our transit system Oh my it gets pretty bad The trains that particularly Go into San Francisco They have Some issues well leaving San Francisco You never know what you're gonna find I've had the door open and it was like, Woo! What happened in here? And of course you get a contact high no matter what. So I don't know. I definitely don't want to drive into the city. As one of the YouTube channel people I enjoy watching. The carpetbagger, he was there visiting. He, he lives somewhere out in, I think, Tennessee. He came out with his girlfriend and they were driving around the city And while they were parked Somebody busted a window and took a bunch of their stuff Including one of his drones That he liked to use a lot 
So, I don't know. My lovely lady friend says, well, he should have known better. He's a small town guy. I'm like, I don't know. He spends so much time in big towns. I think he knows what's what. It's the fact that San Francisco is a lousy city when it comes to that stuff. And I have no patience. I have no patience for San Francisco and the way they treat this type of crime. I have no patience for Alabama because in Alabama, when I lived there, I was parked at a nice trail that I wanted to walk on. Went through a marsh area that was really cool. I get back to my car, window busted out. Same window, same side, just as carpetbaggers. But this is near Huntsville, Alabama. And even in the south and the, and the police came And they just took a couple notes And that was it Never heard anything Somebody a- called me up And asked me a couple more questions But that was it Never got my stuff back Thankfully I didn't have that much In the back seat But Yeah I guess anywhere you go You gotta be careful Alright With that Look who's here Hi Mark It's been you the rodeo queen How y'all doing I got my horse today That's a disgruntled for the player to tell you what What I think y'all need to just be careful and just don't drive. Don't drive. If you don't drive, nobody will take your stuff. Well, I don't know if that's true exactly, disgruntled fiddle player. Yeah, it is true. And don't you try to contradict me because I know everything. Mm, Tell you what. What? Stuff. Stuff? You're telling me that? Stuff? Look who else is here. Hello, Mac. I make the delicious root beer. Have some right Thank you. Oh, this looks good. Let me try some. Mmm. Oh. With some ice. Hey. Podcastro Valley needs more patios. Needs more cafes and restaurants with patios. Now, the one good thing that came out of the pandemic is it forced it forced restaurants to start investing in patio space, outdoor space. For the longest time in Podcaster Valley, there was like no place, no place to sit outside. And it stunk when I had the late great Basil the Boxer because we would be walking around and then, you know, we'd like to sit outside, enjoy a nice uh, meal or a beverage and sit out there and he, you know, get petted, patted by people walking by. Oh, what a sweet dog. But no. There are no places like that. There's like one place, uh, Portales, I think. Oh, there's a couple places in the Castro Village, but not that much. But with the pandemic, it, it forced some place. So we had this place that opened in Pod Castro Valley called the Castro Valley Marketplace. And that has a nice seating area. And that's taken off. And yesterday, my lovely lady friend and I went there. And there were lots of people. It was a beautiful day. It's in the shade, so it wasn't too hot. Oh, so nice. Just like out here at Podcastro Valleyton. The last place on earth. Cafe anyway, we're sitting outside. Why don't more places have this kind of thing? This is something my late mother would say. Why aren't there more of these things there? Well, she wasn't Minnesotan. Wisconsin She didn't have that accent Is what I'm saying But that is it Why Why Is what she would say We need more of these type places To sit outside Enjoy the outdoors I think you would agree With my late mother And Recently I finished watching Storytellers Watch that if you have not Jim Henson While he was still alive He passed shortly after I think in the early 90s But in the late 80s He produced a show in England Called The Storyteller And it features John Hurt Who was the war doctor in Doctor Who And also the guy as I mentioned Who was the one that had the alien Pop out of his chest an alien And he was a great British actor he is the storyteller So he tells these stories Usually old German folk tales Russian folk tales Celtic folk tales And it's all done with Well there's always involved Some kind of Jim Henson 
puppetry. And they have this dog that's a puppet that was voiced by Jim Henson's son, Brian Henson. And it's so fun to watch and really interesting stories, fables that you heard as a kid, but very, uh, very much on the dark side. In fact, NBC was the network that was supposed to air it. And they only aired a couple episodes, even though Jim Henson made 11. They only aired a few of them. Then years later, HBO picked them up and started airing them. And that was in the late 90s. So Jim Henson had already passed. And because I guess they had some popularity, they decided to continue making storytellers. So instead of using old folk tales, they used Greek mythology. And they did four of those. Michael Gambon, who played that wizard guy from... Uh, Harry Potter movies That ran the school He is in it Telling the story And he's dressed Like an old centurion And the dog Voiced by Brian Henson Is back And then he tells These stories Also very dark Of Greek mythology But I think at that point Because it was on HBO They went even darker They did four of those You can watch All of them On Amazon Prime The Amazon Network which, if you are sick and tired of Netflix bo- kicking up your prices, your your monthly way, uh, fee that you got to pay, if you're getting sick of that, which I got sick of that four years ago, five years ago, and, and canceled it. But Lovely Lady Friend still has it, so we watched Stranger Things on that. But, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. It's dumb. It's It's like, why watch it? So... Amazon Prime Not to give Jeff Bezos A fellow Shaved head guy Any plug Because they, they're terrible Just as bad But At least you get a discount On some of your delivery stuff And the, the stuff you get online But they got a lot of Interesting stuff On the Amazon Prime And they go for A lot of the British stuff Which Netflix did have Once upon a time Like 10 years ago But they gotten away From the British stuff they just got that st- What's the thing What's the thing With the The, the, the good looking All the good looking people That That uh, love story That's supposed to be steamy And it takes place th- Like in the Downton Abbey days Or before that It's all British You know what I'm talking about That show That's all popular But it, And Alanis Morissette Made the song for it But the The other stuff On Netflix I could care less. Anyway, cafe anyway. Perhaps you have a different thought. I'm just saying, if you get a streaming service that gives you some extra benefit, added value, go with that one. Or go with the one that you really like. Hey, I like all this stuff that they have on here. Not just one or two things. Like, oh, I want to see everything Disney ever made. Then I guess you're a Disney Plus person. Well, anyway, Cafe Anyway, this show has had a lot of gusto in it. Drink my root beer, I'll kill you. I did, I had some. Gosh. It's a nightmare of a show. A lot of that, a little bit of that, and a little bit of this, and you can chime in, tell me what you think. Chime in like a, you know, ding, and then you're talking. That kind of a chime thing. If you're doing that kind of a bell thing. So bell in. And tell me what you think. 336MM Daily. 3 plus 3 equals 6MM as in Mike Matthews Daily as in what that podcast is. This Or what it has in the name anyway. We get interrupted. And that's a... You can call that number at a cafe anyway and we'll we'll take your call and answer your question. Mike, it's Mikey Fikey. Great. Eventually. But we're outside a cafe anyway somewhere in Podcaster Valley 10. Oh, and if you want to email me, a-Frame has more info on that now. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.